This episode, we're doing the most popular dish in our restaurant. Everybody's been asking, Vernon, how do you make this? Today, we're going to show you, so don't touch that mouse. Think food, think great food. You're cooking with Vernon. Enjoy making these recipes at home, and don't be afraid to experiment on your own. Add other spices or ingredients if you like, and if it works out and you enjoy it, send it to me at my email address, vernon at vernonscafe.com. Hi there, welcome back. Thanks for joining in to Cooking with Vernon. Today we're gonna to be doing chicken marsala. It's one of our big dishes at the restaurant. It's a staple item on our menu, and a lot of people wanna know how we do it, so I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to do it. Uh, first of all, we need some chicken breast. I got four chicken breasts over here. They're pounded down, nice and even. We're gonna season them up. Nice skillet, get some olive oil going, some mushrooms, and I'm gonna show you how to make this real quick. Here we go. Got our chicken breasts. We're gonna season them up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Put them in a little bit of flour. And we're not gonna press the flour on too much. We're just gonna dredge them in a little bit of flour. When you sear them, it, it, it keeps the juices in and you get a nice flavor and helps thicken your sauce a little bit and get a nice consistency there. Get our skillet nice and hot. I have a flame already on it, so the skillet's hot. We're gonna put some olive oil in the pan. Now you can do this for four, if you if you got a family of four or six or eight or whatever it is, we're gonna do four breasts in a 12 inch skillet. If you're gonna do it for more people, do four breasts, take them out, do four more, do them in separate batches when you do it. You can set the chicken on the side on a plate, you make your sauce, you can add your chicken back in there, and then pour your sauce back on top when you go to present it and when you go to plate it up. So now I got my oil nice and hot, and always that's the key, make sure the oil's hot when you put the chicken in there, or else it's gonna to stick to the pan and you're gonna have a mess. And we don't want that. We want to make it easy for you. And of course, the easier way is to come to our restaurant and we can do it there for you. And you can sit down and relax and enjoy it. And let me do all the work. But that's why we have this episode so I can show you how to do it. And then you can decide for yourself whether you want to do it or whether you don't want to do it. Skillet's hot. Oil's hot. It's smoking a little bit. You lay the chicken breast down flat. Another key, and I'm using tongs. I'm going to show you another way. When you lay the chicken down in there, when you put it down in, away from you, so the oil splashes away, not towards you, so you burn yourself. So we'll do it again, and we'll do it one more time. See, down and away. Don't want to drop it in real fast, and oil splashes all over the place. You can cause a fire and burn yourself, and that's not fun. While the chicken's sauteing, we got our mushrooms. We're going to chop our mushrooms up, or slice them, I should say. And I like mushrooms, so I'm going to put a lot of mushrooms in there. Now you want the chicken brown on both sides, so it's browning real good right now. We're gonna flip it over. You get a nice golden color. Come on, bring the camera over here. Let's take a look at it. Come on, let me show you. See that color? That's a nice gold color right there, okay? Now you wanna cook that a little bit more before you add anything else to it. You wanna make sure your chicken's done, so I usually say about two to three minutes on each side. After you add your wine and you saute it a little bit more, maybe another minute or so, and I know it's gonna be done for you. So now we're gonna add our garlic. For every two breasts, I say a clove of garlic's good. If you don't want a lot of garlic, you just put a little bit, and that's fine too. We put our scallions in there. I'm gonna add my mushrooms. And then we'll get to our favorite part, the flame. I got my Marcella wine sitting off to the side here. You want your mushrooms to absorb some of that oil. And the mushrooms, one thing about mushrooms, it take on, it'll take on almost any flavor that you're doing. Being it's gonna be marsala and garlic and that, it's gonna take on that flavor. If it's sauce, it'll take on that sauce flavor. And it does soak up all the oil, but don't worry about it. Let it soak the oil up because now your chicken breasts are sauteing and that juice that's coming out is going right into your mushroom. Now we'll add our wine. And I like a good sweet Marsala wine when you do it. We get a nice flame. 
I like to use a Florio. It's a sweet Marsala, not a dry Marsala. It gives that little extra touch of sweetness. A little bit of chicken stock goes in there. When you're cooking with chicken, why not add chicken stock? If you don't have chicken stock, water's fine. It won't be the same flavor, but it'll still be good. We'll add a little bit of parsley to it. And we'll let that cook down. We'll let it simmer down a little bit here for about another minute. And then we're gonna plate it up. And you're gonna see a wonderful, wonderful dish. It's one of our favorites at the restaurant and one of our customers' favorites also. Now I think our chicken's just about done. We're gonna lay it on a plate like that. Sauce is done to me. And you have it, chicken marsala. Of course, it won't be chicken marsala unless I don't try it, so I'm gonna try it. Here we go. You know what, that's so good. You guys gotta try it too. Well, we got a hand going for it. Here we go. Thanks for tuning in. Come back again and see us in the future. Hello, my name is Dennis. I'm the sommelier for Vernon's Cafe. With the chicken marcella, I would suggest a nice bold Chardonnay. Now remember, if you didn't get a chance to write down all the ingredients, don't worry about it. You can go to our website, print them out, go to the grocery store. Visit our website, vernonscafe.com. 